In PTA AV Studio 11, the video clip convert trim option now contains sound. Let's take a look. I have a couple of videos here opened up in the slide list. The sound on either of these videos is not great, but it's going to meet our needs. So with the video still in the file list, we need to right click and choose convert trim video clip. From the panel that appears, we need to click to trim video. And personally, I like to open this up full screen. In this window, up at the top right, we have start and end time readouts, and also the duration and speed of the video. And of course, they're going to change as we trim this video. Down at the bottom of the window, we have the timeline and the pile triangles at each end are the trim markers for the start or end of the video. We can also move these markers using the up down arrows at the top right next to the start time, end time and duration. The orange icon is our cursor and when we press play we now hear the audio from the video. So looking up at the duration of this bit of video, it's almost 19 seconds. So let's assume that I want something like 10 seconds, something around there. I've got to decide whether I want to chop off some from the front, from the end, or a bit of both. Probably a bit of both. So I would press play. Now, as the bird starts to move, I don't think that's a bad spot to start. So I'm going to move my cursor here until I've got the black swan turned. So I'm going to stop at that point. So now I can go to the end marker and I can bring that in. And that little bit at the end was where I thought I would turned the video off on my camera, but obviously didn't. So I'm looking now for about 10 seconds. So a glance up at the duration brings me to something around there, a little bit over 10, but that should be fine. Now I can have a review of this, of course, because I can put my cursor back at this point and I can press play. Now being able to monitor that sound is quite good because if we had something just at the start or the end that was intrusive, we could perhaps move the markers a little bit left, a little bit right, so we get freedom to be creative. Now we just click OK and OK once again. And what I do like about this is we can actually see things working in the file list. Doesn't take long. But what we also need to remember is when this panel comes to a close, little green tick in the middle that says all is well, but we have to close and then we have another video created and it's added the word converted after the file name. So we're now viewing a little test slideshow in the timeline. So I have a still image to start with. I have my video and I have a still image the other side of the video. Now, this is not unique to PTE AV Studio 11, but I think worth mentioning. If we did want to do something with the sound on our video, I suppose the most obvious is to select it, go to the objects and animation, and if we've got a lot of wind noise like I have here, if we go to the properties, we can just mute the audio. But sometimes we do want the audio that comes with the video we've shot. Now in that case, one of the options I think is very, very useful. If we select that video in the timeline, right click, we can separate the audio from the video. Now in PTE AV Studio via the envelope tool, we can edit that sound to fade in at the start and fade out at the end. The examples I've shown up to now 
the sound starts and stops far too abruptly. Here's a little tip that I've used a number of times. Now I found that very often the video sound will sound much sweeter to the ear if we can have it gradually fading on just before the video starts and continuing after the video has left the screen. Doesn't have to be very much, but it looks and sounds correct. Certainly better than having an abrupt start to what we heard a few moments ago. So now I've separated the audio, I could move this audio to the left. But of course now we don't have enough to cover the end and I've got a little blip here which is probably better lost so I'll probably need to bring that in. But what I can do now is to select the sound file, right click and duplicate it. Now it's placed it in a second track but I want to bring it up here. I want to drag it to the left to make use of the crossfade and sometimes we're going to need to trim it back because now we may have too much. So now I have the opportunity to edit the volume line by putting in some audio points with a click to adjust volume. Just drag them down at the ends to fade the sound out. Let me show you what that looks like full screen and sounds like. Now as I've said, the wind noise on this particular video is not very attractive. But what we've been able to do very quickly and easily with that soundtrack is 100 times better than allowing it to start abruptly as the video starts and end abruptly as the video ends. Now bringing you back into the slide list here, another option which is not brand new to PTE AV Studio 11, but let's quickly touch on that. This particular video has a lot of very fast movement in it. If I bring it down here and just press play, you can see the feeding birds are moving quite fast. So what I'm going to do is edit this and slow it down. Right click, convert trim the video clip, trim the video. I'm not going to bother trimming it on this occasion, so I'll leave this window as small as it is. I won't open it up, but there's the speed. Let's drop this to, let's go down to 40, assuming that's 40%. Click OK, click OK again, and we have yet another video that's being created. So once the conversion process has completed, this is how it looks full screen. And I've just put a still before and after just for effect. Now, of course, here we're not going to have any sound at all, because if we're going to reduce the speed, the sound is going to be automatically muted. But perhaps we could separate the video as I've described here, and we could use the audio with the slow motion video.